out of Eugene, Oregon, in Crestwell, Oregon, a logging town. And uh, right out along the train track, and across the train track was an orchard. And uh, I'm from Illinois, and all there is is corn. So they talk about orchards, but it's like an oasis. When you get close to them, they can disappear. You know? <laughs> anyway, so uh, I somehow got wise, and I was living with a bunch of hippies. They had dreadlocks, so they made me shave my head, and then just to be safe, they kicked me out of the house. <laughs> Anyways, has anybody ever been to Oregon Country Fair before? Yeah. Okay, well, then you know how, how much of a good time you can have there. Um, you really gotta say your prayers after a weekend there, because you're not going to heaven after that. <laughs> uh, I met a girl there who was actually from Arizona, but she was living in Boulder, Colorado. <laughs> yeah, we've had some good times in uh, Boulder, the Boulder Theater. Any awesome. Anyway, so when I was at the Oregon Country Fair, I had hair. Beautiful hair. And uh, I show up, I hitchhike from uh, Portland through uh, to... to Colorado, to, well that's a whole nother story, but anyways I got there and I showed up and, and she, uh, like at her campus she was staying at a dorm, I showed up and had like this beanie hat on, she's like, oh my god, I'm there, I'm there. <laughs> and she's kissing me, everything like that, and everything's great, and then like she would get to the, her room and she took off my beanie and it's like, bicked, <laughs> bullets. <laughs> Things were the same after that, so I walked back out to the interstate and hitchhiked back over. <laughs> and I'll get a wah, 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 wah. <laughs> a shallow, superficial person she was. <laughs> Good. Good. Two, three, and...